This morning I woke up and I was feeling a little bit of nostalgia, especially for this guy. And so I decided I was going to make a Minecraft world and I'm going to make this in vanilla Minecraft. Do you want to see how? Stick around. So I have just a giant black concrete wall here. And then back here, we've got a few commands set up already. So let me show you what we've got going on here. Okay, so what you see here is this first armor stand with the diamond helmet and the second armor stand with the golden helmet. And what's going to happen is the golden helmet will move out two blocks in front and then the diamond helmet will move one block towards it. And then when the golden helmet runs into a wall, it'll stop. just like that and all that's going to do is it's going to teleport this gold one in front and as long as it's not inside a wall it'll teleport the diamond one towards it because if there is a wall then it won't teleport towards it and so now the second one that we've got going here this is the turn and so the command looks like this and what it's going to do it's going to test for an iron block and if there is an iron block then it's going to turn around and then it's going to teleport in front of it. So if we turn this on, there you go. It'll turn right around. And it'll continue moving like regular until it hits that wall and then it'll turn around. There we go. And now that brings us to this third command block. This is the graphics. And this is going to be copying and that's going to be copying this square, this blue square. And so whatever design we put here, it's going to print on the screen, which you'll be able to see from the front. So if we turn it on, like that, you'll see it'll move. And then as it moves, it'll move with it. And right now it's slow. We're going to speed it up. But by the time we're done, it'll be so fast that you won't even be able to tell that it's two motions. There you go, now it's real fast. And it's just going to bounce back and forth right there because that's where we put the walls. This is a very important command block right here, this purple one. What this is doing is it's just teleporting every armor stand to itself. And it's doing that every tick. But what that means is that they won't fall. So this teleports our armor stand, the diamond one, about there in the middle of the screen. There we go. And you see normally it would fall, but because we have that purple command block just teleporting it to itself, it's not going to fall, not even a little bit. But now you can see if we turn it on, that ball is going to go and it'll bounce back. And you can watch it from right here. Not much to see, but it's the beginning of it. Alright, now before we move on, there's one thing I realized this is very important. And uh, I made the switch right here armor stands are not going to work. We're going to have to switch to boats. And so all these commands are going to stay the same. But uh, we're going to have to switch to boats. And you'll see here it's because they can rotate this way, which armor stands can't. Which is very important because we're going to be moving at angles along the screen. So we need these this rotation. It's going to be very helpful. And so the only changes I made is I, I replaced the armor stands with boats. I gave them the right tags. And this one should replace the diamond. That should replace the gold. And I kept them different colors so that you could still tell them apart. The only change I made was obviously to this one. I made it so that it is boats instead of armor stands. And then this one, I uh, added these angles here at the end, these two. And so that's going to make sure it's facing that direction and that direction perfectly. But then it's also going to add a 30 degree angle. So it's pointing a little bit down. So you'll see if we reset it and start it, it's going to be moving downward. That's the only change I made. And now we can get into the rest of it. All right, now that we got the boats figured out, we're going to move on. We're going to work on bouncing it off the wall at an angle. So right now, if we turn it on, you'll see... It'll go, it'll hit a wall, 
and it'll bounce correctly off of the side walls but when we get to the bottom it's just going to get stuck there you see and so what's happening here is since we're just rotating the boat 180 degrees it'll rotate and it'll bounce off that wall but when it gets down here it's just going to rotate back and forth and it never ends up getting off the wall so what i've added here to fix that is this line of command blocks and they're a little gnarly so i'm going to do my best to explain them to you here what's going to happen here is the acacia boat will rotate to face the oak boat it'll teleport through the oak boat to the other side and then the oak boat will teleport 180 degrees and then the acacia boat will go in front of that again and that way it's facing the correct direction all right so now that we have that command working with gold blocks all we're gonna have to do is replace this top barrier and this bottom barrier with gold blocks instead that way when the boat runs into it it'll know whether or not it hit the top or the bottom and again this will be easy with the fill command all right now that we have those top and those bottom walls made of gold we should be able to hook this line of command blocks up and then turn it on and it should work and it should just bounce off of all the walls correctly so we've got that side wall correctly that we had before now here's the test there we go it works off the bottom as well so now it'll just keep going until we turn it off and now we really all we have to do is put a DVD logo in this instead of a circle all right there it is I've gone ahead and I've made the DVD logo and I've also put in the command blocks to help it work and it's very simple it's just this one command block along with these 16 which uh, looks scary but they're all the same thing so it doesn't really matter actually okay so I made this logo I believe it's a 13 by 11 size and the only change that we had to make to accommodate this logo was the clone command right here in the graphics so it's really just the same thing except for different coordinates so that it encompasses the whole thing and then this is where the magic happens each one of these command blocks under here will have pretty much the same command this one which is just gonna fill this with a different color of wool and they're all a different color of wool so if i step here purple red yellow i believe those are both red then we have cyan uh oh lots more colors blue cyan c you get the deal you get the deal so when you step on these command blocks you get a new color and then this armor stand is getting teleported around by this single command right here and those coordinates, the 14, 132, that's this block right here. And so when you run this command, it'll just spread that armor strand on one of these random blocks. And there you see, it'll switch the color of the DVD logo depending where it lands. This is one of the easiest ways to get randomness in Minecraft with the commands, since they don't make a, a real easy way to do that. And so what I've done is I've taken this command block and I've put it here at the end of the bouncing both of the bounces the iron blocks and the gold and it's the same command block that'll just switch it to a random color whenever it bounces off a wall and so with that we have the new clone command the color randomizer and the boat's ready so let's just put it in and i decide on this angle 35 degrees seems to look the best for me and we turn it on we should get the magic there we go and it changes color when it bounces and here we go oh no uh, I might have to make a new ticking area if it's if it's getting out of and there you have it a working DVD screensaver in vanilla Minecraft with just commands and this will just keep going. It may eventually hit a wall. Or sorry, it may eventually hit a corner. 
and it'll just keep going you can watch it now one thing I forgot to mention is when you uh, when you scale up the size of this this clone area you are gonna have to move the borders and you see where I moved them down just a few blocks that way it gets to the edge of the screen but it doesn't go outside of the screen so when you make that change that's what you got to do and it's real easy to, to fix um, other than that that's about it there you have it a working DVD screensaver it's pretty satisfying I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you want to see more content make sure to subscribe and if you leave a like it really helps me out so I'll see you in the next one bye